Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a single card draw, so you can use this as a yes or no. I will go over the yes or no answers of these, or you can just use it as a daily draw style reading and kind of get the general energy from the card and see how that's going to be kind of overlaying on your day. So go ahead and pick a card. We got card number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. And the timestamps will be below in the description box. Okay, card number one, Ace of Cups. This is a yes for starting anything new, even like new relationships with this cups. Anything that you feel like might be bringing, has the potential to bring you emotional fulfillment. Or even if you're wondering if you should you know, go out drinking tonight, have a party or indulge in anything luxurious. Um to do with your, you know, your feelings. This is, this is so, so feelings, but this, this card also has this, like this coral behind the cup, uh, but it kind of looks like fire, which, which really gives this particular ace of cups, uh, I think a little bit more intensity to it than, than some of the other aces. So things might be a little spicy. I know it's going to be Valentine's Day weekend coming up. This is a good card for anybody wondering about Valentine's Day things. Um, overall, I mean, this circle here, this blue kind of indigo style uh, circle, such a gentle flow to it um, with the fish coming out of it. Just so watery, such gentle but spicy water energy is coming here. So if you're asking a question, this is a yes. And if you're just using this as a daily draw you you've got good things coming your way all right card number two ten of wands i actually pulled this for myself this morning this is a yes however <laughs> this is one of those yes cards with a but you might be feeling like you bit off more than you can chew um what i always say about the ten of wands is you know it's always considered that card of burden that great great burden um, but it's, to me, it's also a card of harvest. You know, this little guy is got all his stuff on his back. He's, you know, going home to feed the family or whatever it is that he's doing. And yeah, he's has this heavy load to carry, but he also has finally accomplished everything he needs. And, you know, he's at the end of this journey of manifestation, which is the journey through the suit of wands. So even though you're, you might be feeling like maybe this wasn't all worth it or why did I do this? It's still a yes saying that this has been completed, this is done, um, you know, your fatigue will pass and try, I with the Ten of Wands, I always try to focus more on what you were harvesting rather than the pain and the struggle of the harvest. Okay, card number three, Page of Pentacles. Doesn't this, this dude looks like he's on parade. He is strutting his stuff. Uh, he is, I, I feel like whoever is asking about this is going to be almost like walking down a new avenue, walking down a new, a new journey without really knowing where you're going. Um, so if you were asking for a yes or no, this is going to be a yes for starting your journey, but with the pages, they're a lot like, you know, it's like you're embodying the ace of pentacle energy here. Uh, the pages and the aces to me are really similar. One one is just more embodied and the aces are more abstract. So here, you know, it's a yes to start, but it's not a yes saying that you're going to get your ideal outcome. We don't know what your outcome is going to be yet. You're going to have to start going down that road. And, you know, once some time passes, you can kinda, kind of inquire about this uh, topic again. But definitely get, you know, stick your foot out there. Um, start going down your road. See where it takes you. But there's no guarantee of where it's going to go right now. All right, card number four, five of cups. Somebody is not feeling so hot. Um, if you can see this, this five of cups is a woman who has a fish head. I, I really feel like this person is completely bamboozled, completely confused, really in a state of, uh, this is like almost like an identity crisis to me. A lot of time the five of cups is a sense of crisis and emotional pain happening around you. Um, so either that and you're really, really internalizing it when you maybe don't need to, or you're feeling a sense of crisis about your own identity. 
Um, so if you're asking yes or no, this is this is a no. This is, you know, obviously not a good vibe. You don't want to be stepping into this energy if you don't have to. And if you asked a question about this and this is what you got, um, you know, this is where it might lead you. You're going to be, I mean, unless you want to be a person with a fish head, you know, I wouldn't really recommend going down that road. Um, and for the, the rest of us, um, you know, pulling a five of cups just as our daily draw, that means, you know, there's going to be a significant amount of discomfort in your day. <sighs> you know, I mean, we all pull five of cups from time to time and try to just look after yourself, you know, uh, and watch out for kind of those self-destructive tendencies where you go, oh, you know, my day's been so shitty. I, you know, I'm going to drink this bottle of wine or, oh, my day's been so shitty. I need to eat this entire pizza or, oh, my day's been so shitty. I'm going to go, you know, go have, go on Tinder and have some horrible hookup that I regret later. Whatever it is that you do to make yourself feel better and you're having a terrible day, try not, try to avoid that. Try to find something a little healthier, um, a little bit, a little bit less self-destructive because that'll make, that'll actually, if you can, sit in your neutrality and just observe <laughs> as the shit washes by down the river, then, you know, tomorrow, once this passes and you get on with your life, um, there'll be less repercussions and you'll be able to move past the five of cups faster. So watch out for those, you know, self-comforting indulgences that don't actually do you any good. All right. Card number five, nine of swords. I think I've gotten <laughs> the nine of swords comes up in all of my yes or no readings. And it's a no, like, that's it. Nine of Swords is a no. I'm just looking at this little mouse here. If he's a mouse. Maybe more of a rat figure um, at the moon. He's not actually... There aren't actually any swords that I can see in this card. But he's clearly... It's night. He's awake. Something... He almost looks like... he. He's fearing an attack from above. I I feel like some of you might be lying awake at night, like worrying about like being attacked by like etheric parasites or parasitic entities. Uh, I mean, I, I know I've done that too. Or if you're afraid of, you know, the watchers, if you're just starting your like awakening journey and just kind of tapping into, you know, psychic powers and stuff like that, you can get freaked out thinking that, you know, these people are watching you and sometimes they are watching you or, you know, that these entities are like attaching onto you and sometimes they are. Um, and that can really make it hard to sleep at night. Uh, I mean, I, I know I've, I've been there. And I mean, if this is happening to you, I mean, one thing that I was shown in my dreams when the parasites come to get you is that you can light them on fire. You can burn them up. Um, you know, this is what this is what I, I've been shown and experienced in, in my dreams. And, you know, you just have to get in touch with your own inner, like, no, like, no, you cannot, you know, come, come at me. You cannot get me. And you can look at them and light them on fire. At least that's, that's how I experience it. So just know, you know, that no one, none of these entities that might be trying to get you can get you if you don't let them, you know, if, if you're having, if you ever find yourself in a lucid dream where some, you know, even if the creature in your dream looks like somebody you know, you can tell that they're not. You can tell that it's like something with malevolent intent towards you and something that's trying to get you. Just imagine lighting it on fire. Imagine incinerating it on the spot. You don't have to put up with that crap. All right. Queen of Pentacles. This is a yes. Somebody is feeling luxurious. Look at this, this pink cape. All right. This is really the card of being the like the matriarch of your domain, right? Uh, it reminds me of Mother's Day when I was a kid, and you know my mom would sit there on the on the porch, you know, and I'd be get, getting we'd be getting her coffee and you know sandwiches and you know rubbing her feet, <laughs> you know, like waiting on her hand and foot all day. That was like our our Mother's Day tradition, uh, and. I, I'm feeling like you're feeling like that right now. So it's a right. This is an encouragement I would say to take what you deserve. Like if something is coming, if something is coming your way, you might feel like, oh, I don't deserve this or, oh, I'm maybe, you know, I, I feel like I should reject this because, you know, I'm the kind of person who doesn't take charity or doesn't take favors. You know, I do everything by myself right now. It, it's really okay. You can be the queen of pentacles, at least for today. Um, you know, and you can live in a little bit of luxury and you can 
let, you know, somebody rub your feet and get you a sandwich and bring you a beer. And, you know, it's okay to indulge in that and to receive what you have earned. Card number eight. King of Wands. So somebody has, this is a, this is a yes. Somebody has manifested something that they've been working on. Uh, and I don't really feel like this is so much a, a project or a work thing. Oh, you know, you know, it could, it could come out that way. But this, this tiger here, you know, what does a tiger do? He's not working on any, you know, he's not climbing the corporate ladder. He, he like already is, you know, the king of the jungle. I know we usually use that for lions, but I think that also applies for tigers. <laughs> um, if you've been working on your internal alchemy and your, you know, internal development, <laughs> this is the sign that, you know, you've done it. You've done it. Whatever, whatever it is that you want to be, that you, whatever energies you've been trying to embody, you've embodied it and you've attracted, not only that, you've attracted the environment around you that reflects your own energies so you're really stepping into a state where, you know, you're not just uh, this magnetic personality. You're this magnetic personality that has actually affected the environment around you. It's like you've been terraforming your environment with your, you know, with your will to manifest. So this is a yes, but it's almost like a yes of saying that whatever you're asking about has already happened. Even if you haven't like noticed it yet, it's like right beneath the surface and right about to bust out, you know, like an iceberg. I'm seeing it like, <laughs> so yeah, I don't think there's too much more to say about that. King of wands. There you go. All right. And card number eight, three of wands. I pulled, this is a, this three of wands is interesting to me. It is a little more almost like off putting than most three of wands. Like this guy isn't standing on the beach, you know, watching his ships come in. He is surveying the land. He has climbed to the high ground. And it was funny. I pulled this card for myself yesterday. And I was like, huh, this guy has like climbed to the top of the hill and he's like surveying, surveying the landscape. And then through a series of, you know, random events that I didn't intend on, I ended up uh, climbing to the top of a hill and then looking out over the landscape. Um, and I was like, holy, holy cow, the, this deck knew what I was going to do today before I knew it. So it is... I mean, if you're going hiking today, this is a, this is a good sign, but you know, you don't need to be actually climbing, climbing something. You could be climbing, um, something figuratively, but whatever it is, this card is about gaining perspective. Um, and so in fact, if you were asking a yes or no question, I mean, it's a yes, but not like a super solid. Yes. This is a yes with the caveat of you need to gain perspective. You're in this stage of acquiring information, um, you might be seeing some initial fruits of your labors, like, but this guy is still towards the beginning of his journey. It's like, you know, he had the, the passion to manifest something with the Ace of Wands and he started putting two and two together with the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. He's like taking a step up and going, ha, huh, how is this going? You're surveying your progress. You're, 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 whatever it is, is underway, but it's not done yet. Um, so take a minute. And, you know, climb to the top of that hill and look out over the landscape before you take your next move. <laughs>